What is up, YouTube? Your boy Dubs Grubs here. I have a new series. So for those of you that don't know, I am a full. I'm a foodie, not a full-time foodie. I'm a foodie. Uh, I post food on Instagram. I've got about seventy thousand followers, and I've accumulated a pretty good page. Um, I get a ton of questions. How do I eat all this food? How do you find all these spots? How do you set up? How do you take pictures? Just how do you afford all these things? Do you get paid? What are you? Everything. So I decided to do a behind the scenes, all access of what it's like being a foodie, day in the lifetime kind of vlog setup of a foodie. So in this series, I'm going to be showing you everything about how I'm going to be talking about me if I'm getting paid, how much I'm getting paid, the different types of things I do, my setup, how I stay fit, how I find brand deals, how everything. I'm just going to give you like the whole influencer, you know, tour. So. I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to start out today. I'm taking you guys with me behind the scenes. I'm stopping by Furlough Brothers, which is a uh, cheesesteak kind of company um, that they're trying to get me to try some cheesesteak food. I'm going to pull up on their kitchen in about in a, in a second. So I'm excited for that. Um, this is a paid promotion. Now, I have two types of paid promotions. I have my smaller paid promotions, which are kind of with my local restaurants. Uh, I tend to only I'm only getting about fifty to a hundred dollars on each one of these, uh, just depending on how much I'm charging. Um, but uh, the consistency, so I have like five of them booked for this weekend. So you see, that's a quick two hundred fifty to five hundred dollars in your pocket. Then I have the bigger brand deals. Now I'll talk about those on another thing. But those are when you kind of get reached out to by a marketing agency. They pay. I've had my biggest one has now been twenty five hundred. I've had. A fifteen hundred dollar one, a thousand dollar one, a five hundred dollar one, a three hundred dollar one. So I've done a, a good amount of those, and I just kind of got started. Shout out to Feed the Malik. Oh, yeah, Feed the Malik. Anella, uh, she actually put me on game on a lot of stuff, um, and she actually runs a course. So if you would like to get her course for the tips and tricks that she gave me, I will link that. I'll let you guys know. Just hit me up, ask a question. So let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in this channel, any questions that you have, and I'm going to try to answer everything. So first, we're going to go ahead and head on out. Now, I'll show you guys my studio in depth, kind of my setup and everything in depth later. Today, we're going to be on the move. So I'm going to take my camera with us. We're going to head on out and I'll see y'all at the stop. I'm going to be showing y'all everything between the interactions between the owner, talking about the food, what I'm going to do, how I eat it, what I'm going to do with the food after everything. So let's go. What's up, man? How you doing? Sam. I'm Jordan. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Or Dubs, whichever in. one. Dubs, Grubs. Yeah, huh? yes, sir. Yes, sir. How long have you been uh, doing this stuff? Honey? This is, what, year two now? Okay. This is year two, so I I probably, March was my full, officially my year, uh, second year in it. That's so. awesome, man. Yeah, well, How I guess. How long did it, so, like, when did you really start seeing all the following? Uh, man, it kind of.
fries are fries are definitely dope. They're unique. Are they like what are they like? I I don't usually see these. Is it just what? Uh, yeah, they're they're really new. Um, and we kind of went back and forth a lot about uh, because usually like fry delivery fries are really really tough to make yeah. nice by the time they get there. Mm -hmm. So. It was always back and forth between like, do we want them to arrive? Because usually they're like warm or hot, but they're solid. Oh. And so we were like, these are these are thin enough to where they're going to maintain the crispiness, but they also have that little bit of potato in the middle, so yeah. it's still like a fry, and not a chip. Okay. But then worst dope. case scenario is they turn into, they literally just turn into a potato chip. Yeah. And yeah. you can and it's really easy to put it in the microwave in the container that we put them in. Okay. It's microwavable, so you pop them back in there. They're still crispy and then they're hot. Okay, sure. Let's go. I like this much the uh, the muffins unique too. I've never, I've never so that, seen that, that that was chef coming out there so it's man to that. I smoked a blunt, no no bullshit. Yeah. I smoked a blunt and I was sitting in the house. And I'm like, I gotta have some mac and cheese on. Yeah. And then I was like, I'm gonna make a mac and cheese muffin. That is hilarious. But this that far I the I love this. Exactly. I mean I love the <laughs> soy their pears. Ooh, man, this is about to be a, a, what is it, a Texas Calzone? Texas Calzone. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. Get better quality, but sometimes, you know, you, you need to, I just throw the iPhone on and it gets it done, so. Oh, there we go. All right, y'all. So we're gonna try last thing, the Texas uh, calzone, which has steak mac and cheese in steak it. Steak mac and cheese. Steak it's mac deep and cheese, deep fried. Oh yeah, that's this is the hit, man. This. <laughs> oh, that bread is great. It's real good. You might not live too long if you eat one of these every day, but <laughs> and it, it feels, it reminds me. It comes with an EKG. Let me show you y'all. Yes. So that's how it's done. Uh, just met up with the spot. I got the Zelle payment. Uh, they sent me the bread. I'm gonna get everything edited, posted. I got some leftover food. Um, that's how you do it, man. I love this shit. Like, it's just so much fun. And I was spending knowledge. We literally talked for like 30 minutes of me just giving game. And I want to spread the knowledge and help as many people as I can. Like, that's why I'm doing this series. So, rock with me, comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you want to hear, what you want to learn about. Peace.